Hi, I'm Miss McCubbin and I'm going to show you a, a felt tip pen and wash technique today. So all we need for it is these felt tip pens, which are just any cheap ones, and short bristle brushes, some water, A4 cartridge paper or watercolour paper is also quite good for this. Now this technique is a good one to help you build some confidence because when you're transitioning from drawing to painting you're going from hard media where you can control your drawing into a fluid media which can be harder to gain some control of. So this is like a good sort of in-between for us and we'll give it a go today. Now you can see I've already drawn a faint outline or a guide in pencil and this is all about confidence if you're more confident you can go straight on in there in, in pen. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to pull these lines in a little bit. Our uh, wash technique is going to come outside of the lines anyway, so we don't need to worry too much about neatness and certainly don't be tempted to colour in things solidly. Um, we want to focus on your dark areas first and I'm just popping in some loose marks, as well as trying to get a flavour of that rather chaotic, dynamic style that Maggie Hamblings uses, where she's quite loose. And I'm beginning to layer up my mark making in here. Okay, you can see that I'm starting to bring in the middle tones and some of the lighter areas and some of the perhaps brighter areas, combining still, but leaving quite a lot of white paper in between my marks. And I'm playing with the marks. I'm using streaky lines, broken lines, building up colour, but still always making sure that I'm leaving plenty white in there. Then I'm going to introduce my brush, dipping it in the clean water and just slowly seeing what will happen. Now you have to allow for happy accidents and maybe not so happy accidents, um, but you have to just see what will happen. Some things are unpredictable. You'll get blending occurring and you can build it up and see what's happening between the, the light areas as the, as the colour just sort of spills in and fills them. So it gives you a chance to see where you need to add some more dark areas. And I can add more pen where the paper's dry, but don't add pen where the paper is wet. Now, Dorothy Hodgkin, by the way, was a Nobel Prize winning scientist. And the artist Maggie Hambling has tried to bring out a sense of order and chaos with her work on insulin and all these dynamic brush strokes. So they really are quite a great pairing. A woman painting a woman, both who are very committed and very involved and absolutely obsessed with their work. Okay, last of all, I'll add the things that seem like they should go first, like the dark glasses and also areas you want to add more detail. Now it's your turn. 